And the attack ad targeting Rossi is funded by a Democratic Party super back pack and focuses on his work as a former state senator and chief budget negotiator back in 2003. But the record shows Rossi tried to cut health coverage for 46,000 kids. This is a claim we've fact-checked before. It's true that an early version of the 2003 budget included a proposal to eliminate coverage for 46,000 children in the state Medicaid program. But that proposal did not pass. House Democrats pushed back and forced a compromise. Also, to give you more context about that budget year, the state was facing a significant shortfall at the time and past reporting by the Seattle Times shows the Senate Republicans budget plan actually had a lot in common with that of then Democratic Governor Gary Locke. Raised bed taxes on nursing homes while making sure country club membership fees were exempt from taxes. It's true that the budget did charge nursing homes a fee per bed per day, but the ad doesn't tell you the nursing homes actually asked the legislature for the tax as a way to increase the amount of federal dollars they received. As for the country club claim, the D C says that comes from this 2003 Seattle Times article that referenced House Democrats' long list of tax ideas. The article includes this line saying Democratic leaders couldn't even muster enough support to repeal a corporate tax exemption on country club membership dues. That exemption comes from this pretty broad state statute, which dates back to 1935, that applies to various types of organizations. A record search reveals House Democrats did propose legislation that would have limited the tax deduction in an effort to raise revenue during a difficult budget cycle, but the Democrats' effort to do that ultimately died. Now, the State Department of Revenue helped provide a lot of background information on this topic today, and our research found that the repeal proposal did not make it out of a House committee that year. However, the various tax proposals by House Democrats back then would have faced a lot of opposition in the Republican-controlled Senate. Meanwhile, a GOP super PAC is running a new ad targeting, targeting Dr. Kim Schreier and her medical practice. She's even had her her campaign attorneys write a letter to ask TV stations, including King 5, to stop running the ad. We did a complete fact check of that ad in question, and you can find it online at king5.com politics. Back to you.